Hey guys, my name is William Prowse. I've been living in RVs for seven years. Um, at first it was out of desperation because I had a nerve disease and I couldn't walk. But now I've really um, become quite complacent in the RV living situation that I was forced to. And I love RVs now. So what I do now is I make this RV as... Um, easy to live in as possible and I'm gonna go over some of the features that I have that enable me to make this very sustainable um, a lot of RVs nowadays I mean I see guys and they have piles of trash they have like three dogs they're like I mean obviously they're all on drugs and I'm not but I, I just want to go over some of the things that I do to make this life easier so um, and stuff that's just for fun so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the lighting so the first thing is that I've got lights on this side and lights on this side for working, right? And these are for the afternoon when I have to stay up. And I have the blue lights so that I'm always kind of going. And in blue light as in the wavelength, it's more, it's more brighter white. But in the afternoon when I want to just relax, I turn these lights off and then I put on these ones. And I should give you, close this just to give you an idea of the color. Um, this is so it doesn't mess with my circadian rhythm. Um, this color makes it so I can relax in the afternoon, and it's awesome, great little color. I sound like an old grandpa right now. But um, it has every color you could imagine. I've got red, green, blue, aqua. I mean, you could sit here and the even, even has custom colors as like rave colors, all sorts of stuff you can do. I mean... I got bored with it after like the first month and then I just leave it on like this one or this one because they're pretty chill. And then if you turn this one off and I have the work lights on, I can also, I mean, god dang it, if I turn that one, I could also have this one as white and that's nice. And whenever the middle lights are on, the multicolor ones are, I can see out the back. I just took out the other camera because I bought a new camera and I'm too lazy to install it but I'm getting to it whenever I feel like um this is my bed super duper comfy um it's a full-size mattress and in the back I have a bunch of cushions too because it, it really extends pretty far you can't really see it actually I should just show you all right I'm getting up so this is the bed up on top and that switch right there turns on the heaters and I have a bunch of carbon fiber seat heaters for cars underneath the bed but as you can see it's pretty darn spacious and really nice I just sit there on my tablet up here and just get all cozied up with my nice little seat heaters and then this is to show me my voltage and how much voltage I have how much voltage drop from current you know draw um, really convenient. Uh, this is my couch and this is heated as well. The switch that I turn on this heater with is this one right here and you just flip it like that. I could probably put a better switch in but I'm kind of lazy. Um, and also there's a big window behind my couch which is great during the, um, you know, during the day. Lots of natural light. You want lots of natural light. Um, this is where I get like all my work done. Um, this TV is hooked up to my Xbox and to my computer back there. And um, that's all my spices. This is my super fast charging USB thing. It does two amps for each one. There's my GoPro Hero. There's my tablet, my phone, my keys, a bunch of other stuff. There's the clock. Um, this is the stove. I don't know how clean it is, but yeah. As you can tell, I like blue. <laughs> and this is my keyboard. So usually I sit on my couch or I have a standing desk option. So hold on one second. Sometimes I'll do it this way. Please mind the mess over there. It's all janky looking. So usually I'll just have my hands right there and then I'll stand right there. Hold on, I can show you. So what I usually do, if I'm on my computer during like the day and I don't want to be sitting on my couch 
um, because sitting sucks. I just do this, and this is pretty ergonomic. I mean, how much better could you get? It like fits me perfectly, and the, the screen's in my face. I guess that's not good for focal length and um, lens correcting and all that, depth perception, but whatever, it's good enough. And then my TV, I love playing games on it when I like games. I don't really play games much, but um, when I have friends over, I get really into it. And me and Giuseppe lately have been getting into the freaking Badlands too. That's a great game. Um, on this side, I've got my fridge. And I also have like a mini workout station. So I always attach rubber bands to it. I had a recent shoulder surgery, so I have to work out with those bands. I also have like foam rollers and um, roller blade ball roller thing. Um, this is where I keep my food. It's a pretty great, super efficient um, refrigerator. And it's not a Peltier either. It's a um, true compressor fridge. On this side, I've got my, um, what do you call it? My heater, pretty ballin'. Um, I keep the propane tank behind it. And that thing really kills it during the winter. This is my little stand thing. I don't know what that's for. It just sits there. It looks nice, I guess. And then, this is a view from this side. Um, this is my light that I use when I want to like make videos. Super bright. So what I usually do is I bounce it off the wall so you can see my face. Or I bounce it. See how you can do that? Better lighting. So I mess with it. If I'm trying to make YouTube videos. And uh, yeah, I have a really killer stereo. It's bumping. Um, got for 11 bucks and it's $600 on eBay. So um, I hooked that up to my solar system. My solar system's baller. I have um, 550 watt solar panels and then I have an MPPT charge controller, two of them. And then um, quite a few com inverters to um, make all of this stuff really efficient. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's pretty cozy. I have all my drones on the top. I have all my tools down there. I have all my clothes in the closet in the back. And um, there's my carbon monoxide parts per million thing. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have questions or want to see anything else. All right, bye.